sang the gospel for the last 70 some years. She's traveled over many a water and many a land. And when she found out about this event and knew that the great Dorothy Norwood would be here, she just wanted to come and do her part. And that's the kind of love and respect that people have for each other. This is just awesome. 93 years old. Amen. 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 Father Cena, it's all yours. My, my followers and the people who support me, who support Believe in Yourself. All right. Hold on. You're on the break of a miracle. Hold on. You're on the break of a miracle. Hold on. You're on the break of a miracle. And the Lord has great plans for you this year, this year, this year. Oh, the Lord has great plans in store for you. Oh my God. That's powerful. He has great plans for you. This is Claudette St. Rose and I am in the Bronx. What brings me out today? Eric Stevenson's. And not only Eric Stevenson's, but there is a celebration here for women. And I came out here to support the event and to support Eric Stevenson. Eric Stevenson's for Assembly 2020. But enough about that. There's so many people in the building. We're going to walk around. We're going to talk to people. There's a concert. Um, so many great artists. I heard Cece Houston. It's being honored. And Miss Norwalk is also in the building. So we're going to walk around and we're going to get some people to talk about the experience. This is such a great, great experience. I am moved. Have you ever been moved by the Holy Spirit? Well, I am. But don't take my word for it. Stay close. We'll be back. Just stay connected. Thank you.
greet, meet, take pictures, CDs will be out there, and then we're going to come back and do our ceremony. Bishop Green. Yes. I love your church. Thank you so much. I love your, your the people in the church. I love the warmth. I love the the friendliness. I just love that they're so open and, and so welcoming. And, and and this shows the kind of leader they have because it's not possible for the flock to do what it needs to do without a leader. Well, I always try to teach people to show love and be kind to people. If you treat people nice, my mom always said, They'll treat you nice and they'll come back to the church. So Absolutely. So how long have you been uh, a pastor here at this I've been, I've been a pastor uh, next March. It'll be 25 years. To God be the glory. Uh, my father was the first pastor, so we've been here for 53 years. And this particular building, I built it with my own hands. It took me 17 years to build this edifice. But it's beautiful. God blessed me uh, with the mindset and put it all in my mind and I was able to do this great work. So. I love this. What do you have to say to your, to your, uh, you know, the flock you lead? What do you have to say to your members? I just want to say let's be fruitful and multiply. Let's increase, continue to show the love, continue to welcome people because people are hurting in this world economically, politically, and we have to show them that there's a different way. You don't have to be hurt. God, Christ, Jesus Christ can make you feel better. And speaking about hurting politically, what do you think about Eric Stevenson running for Assembly 2020? I'm excited about that. How I'm, do you feel about that? I'm very excited. Uh, he's always been good. He started out coming to this church, and we've been friends, and I'm very excited. And we need him in this neighborhood. We need, we need him we in need this him. neighborhood. We need somebody who's on our side. Amen. Who's going to talk for us. Talk for us. and make fight for us. And represent us in Auburn. He's going to stand for us. Yes. And he's a great man. He's a great man, and I take him as a personal friend. Yeah, Eric Stevenson, I met him less than a year ago, and he's been an inspiration to me. I, I Like everything else, we all fall down, but it's when we get up, what we do with it. It's yes. not about falling down, it's what you do when you get up. Well, sometimes falling down and going through the hard time teaches us a lesson so that we get up and we can stand stronger. Have you ever been in a windstorm? Sometimes the wind will knock you over, but when you get back up, you learn how to lean against the wind lean against opposition so we pray for him and we know that the lord is on his side amen can amen. we say eric stevenson assembly 2020 eric stevenson can we say it together <laughs> yes thank you one two three eric, eric stevenson, stevenson assembly 2020. 2020 thank you thank you very much thank you god bless you
with um, his nunchucks. Others through your kindness and acts 
generosity to the poor, homeless, sick, and shattered. You are a jewel beyond compare. Yes. 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 as well as all of you in the honorees, my husband, I just want to thank all of you for just accepting me, for just recognizing. Not I'm one of not much words, not a lot of words, but I'm a doer, and I love the Lord. Yeah. And the most important thing, if I could touch just one person as I pass this way, then my living shall not be. That's my pastor. Thank you so much. Um, and, and, um, we're we're flaming right now. Amen. Amen. For just thinking of this and uh, just remembering those of us that are in the background so many times. Amen. Amen. Thank you. The next award is going out to actually a uh, reverend. Uh, who's a head of a fellowship of many other women that she inspires spiritually and educationally through the word of God. And I bring you forth no other than this Felicia Reverend Felicia Grumba. Amen. Amen. This must be from God, and I thank you very much and everyone. Um, really, in the African community, when it comes to uh, voting for um, assemblymen, we don't know anyone. I believe that what uh, you have done is wonderful, so that at least we know you know, most of the time we don't know it, but we don't know that. Yeah. So coming down to where we are, telling us that you are in charge of here and here, then you also can help and contribute to the work of the community. Yeah. So we thank God, yes, for today. I'm from Ghana, West Africa, some of our members are here, hallelujah. It's very wise to be here today to know what to do when it comes to, and, uh, I mean, thinking of who is in charge of here, there, we don't know anything. We don't vote, we don't do anything. So please get us involved. Let us know who we, what, what should we do, who to vote for. So God bless you, sir, for coming down to us. Now we know your face, we know your name, so we also do our best. Yes. The next award, just see just a moment. Okay, let's give it up for the whole honorees again.
Huh? And we have another uh, uh, friend and upcoming city councilman of the North Bronx, Mr. Uh, Muhammad Barry. Hello, Mr. Barry. We have all the way from Ghana and West Africa, a candidate for parliament, conference over there, who's present with us today, Mr. Manano Albanaz. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be in the presence and have, you know, the first East Asian citywide candidate on a citywide ballot who ran for public advocate and who came in so close with hardly little or no money. And he's come all the way from Queens to be present with us tonight. Give it up for Mr. Halal Shek. Thank my family. My brother's here, no? Yeah. Okay, well, I have to say, all my family's in the house. Get them all around the floor. Another state city candidate amongst us tonight, Ms. Pamela Stewart. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Looks like we have a baby candidate here, possibly I believe with Bronx Grove President, Willie Williams yeah. Russell Moore. Yeah. So with that family, get back on track. Um, I thank God for being back and be given a second chance. I know God is a God of second chances. Yes, yes, yes. 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 There's always things that go on. We all make mistakes sometimes in life. Sometimes knowingly, sometimes unknowingly. I've made some without correcting them. Amen. We all make mistakes. Amen. But I'm moving forward because our community continues to need the help. Our young continues to need attention. Our elderly continues to need our protection and our assistance. Every time I'm looking on the TV and seeing elderly people attacked and can't come out of their home at night and all of these things, these things will have to change when I go back into public office. When I keep looking at the public 161st, you were the young black and Latino male being sent to Rikers Island into the state prison. When I go back into office, this has to stop. We have to change this. So, family, all I'm saying is if you believe in God and you believe in His will and you believe in what He does, I'm a witness say tonight to tell you. That he has blessed me, give me a second chance, yes. and ordained and anointed me to go back to serve in the New York State Senate. Yes. I know I'm crazy, but I'm not crazy. Yes. Oh, I'm just Get around with the friend of If it wasn't for Fred Lewis, very honestly, besides God, I mean, for Fred Lewis, this really, 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 I don't think I could have done this tonight. Please give him a round. This is how to actually be a former deputy public advocate in New York City. So we'll continue on. There's so many people to recognize, so many people to honor. I'll say my good friend, Dr. Abdul Hussein, who will be serving here in the hospital of our district one day. I have to thank Hattie Johnson for all the great work she's contributing here. Yeah, and I don't know where the bishop is at, but I have to tell you one thing. I would always have a respect for Bishop Selvis Green. Yeah. Oh, boy. 
down. He's been there to open the door. And that's how you know that's a true man of God. This uh, one more person I can recognize and forgive me. I'm happy for all of you being there. And those in the balcony as well. I can recognize my good friend and God's father, a veteran head of NAPEX. That's the National Association of Black Veterans, Mr. Leroy Archibald. Please stand up. And the former district leader of this community. Give him a round of applause. So family, please, I have a favor of you tonight, and that is to spread the word, to know that God has given I made a decision, but I have to announce it to you that I'm running back to be the assembly person of this district that I serve. And I need your support. And I need you to spread the word. But we need to work together as a family with God. And you notice, I didn't start this thing off with something other than God. I started this off with the woman of faith. Yes, the woman of faith. They are close to God. And with that, I'm looking forward to the great work uh, of this district and community. And I thank you all for your support. And I have to recognize my old campaign manager and uh, consultant, Mr. Arthur Richardson. Please, I'll stand up. <laughs> and closing out, I can't forget another great leader of our community who served so well and who's here and present amongst us today. He served and knew my grandfather's time and father's time. Mr. Cornell Norton, please go ahead. So I'm going to go before I get in trouble. So thank you all. God bless you all. And see you back in the New York State Assembly. Do it for you. Thank you all. I'm standing with the one and only Mr. Eric Stevenson. Yes. Eric, how do you feel? I feel great, filled with the Spirit of God as I always like to be, and uh, on a great, great, great evening here today. Uh, we have the wonderful gospel icon Dorothy Norwood with us today, and we have uh, uh, Evangelist Walker and others, uh, Renee Cradle, or somebody great in gospel. And they're just filling the house with a great spirit. And I thank everyone for coming, and uh, we'll continue to do the good works for the people of the Bronx and the state of New York. And we're grateful for you. Yeah. I just want to personally thank you on camera yeah. for putting your faith in me yeah. and trusting me. It's yeah. like I trust you. Well, we always thank you. You do a great job. I mean, I can't find a better video person. Since day one, you've done a great job, and I can't leave you. Well, thank you, but yeah. I just want to also thank my, the person behind the camera. That is yeah. Mr. Mario Gray, because he's awesome. Well, he's a great guy. When He, he, he covered me your, since I first came in, and, ever since, so and it's, I'm sure he's doing a great job if he's, if he's with it's you. It's a team. It's yeah. a team effort. It's a great team. Yeah. It's a team effort. So we thank everyone, um, and just know that it's about not falling down, but it's about standing up. Many times you could trip, but when you trip, it's human nature to stand back up. And that's what I'm doing here today. And I want to just greet everyone and thank everyone for coming. And to know that the good works I've started, I'm going to continue to do here in the South Bronx because we need it. And while we're here, um, the youth are around, the elders are here, everyone's here, and they need to know that I will be a fighter for them. I will continue to do the great work and make our community a great place to live. And on that note, Eric Stevenson for Assembly 2020. Yes. Stay close. That's it. Thank you all and God bless you. Thank you. Yeah, Cordette St. Rose. Can I just say a word to Miss Dorothy? Oh, absolutely. I just want yeah. to. Where's my camera person? Okay. Okay. You got to sign mine. Oh, Hello, Miss Norwood. How are you? I'm just, I'm just gonna.
friend down here because I just want to talk to you a little bit. Yeah, I am just in awe of you. I'm born at St. Rose, by the way, and you are such an inspiration. My mother loved you, my father loved you, my grandmother loved you, my family loved you, and I love you. Bless you. I am just, thank you, I'm just happy that I'm here. And I just wanted to talk to you, what keeps you going? What keeps you going, Miss Norwood? Nothing but God. Nothing but, but God. The grace is grace and mercy keeps me. You are such an inspiration for so many. Thank you. And I know along the way you've seen so many great, like yourself, great yes. artists come yes. through. And I am just happy that you're here, mm -hmm. despite the test of time, to talk about it. Oh, yes. And to sing about it. Thank you. With your voice still being amazing. And just, you know, doing what you love to do. I know you're, this is a new, is this a compilation of your um, music or that's is this a, a new? That's a compilation of, okay. uh, of the old, here it is here, see here. Okay. I need thee, he's a wonder, what a friend, shine on me, all of those. Now this here is uh, my new one that I'm working on this now. This is your new one. Yeah, and it also has Beverly Crawford. Okay. Rans Allen and Kareem Jans Kareem Jackson mm -hmm. and my pastor James Morgan. I love James it. Morgan. You had me in tears today. Thank you. You had me yes, in tears because you know sometimes people just need to be ministered by song. Yes. And that's what you did for me today. And I just Praise want to thank God. you. Thank and you. And just want you to know, may God continue to bless you and guide you. Is there anything you would like to, to say? I to just the, uh, like to say uh, you know, I give honor to God yeah. for his for his blessings and how long he's the longevity that he's given me to be able to go out and to sing and still a travel at 84 years old. God bless your heart. God is good to me. Eric Stevenson for Assembly 2020. Yeah. What do you think of that? Oh, I think it's wonderful. You think it's wonderful? Yeah, I think yeah. he's here for the people. What do oh, you yes, think? He's here for the people now. What do you have to say to Eric? you have anything to say to I just here? like to say to Eric, just don't give up your hope, don't give up your faith, and hang in there because you are a winner. That's right. If, is there a website if people wanted to follow you, Miss Norwood? Uh, what, what is it? www.dorothynorwood.com Thank you. What do you have to say to people with the, with the holiday season coming up? You want to say Merry Christmas or anything? To oh yes, I'd just like to say Merry Christmas and may God continue to richly bless you throughout 2020. And may God bless you too. Can I give you a hug, Miss Norwood? Yes, you can. Thank you very much. God bless you. That's my sister right there. Thank you very much. Bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Rooting for him, celebrating him, coming out. He's, he's not a quitter. Look at that. I'm so amazed by him. Getting back in the race, and he's going to win. On three, let's just say Eric Stevenson's Assembly 2020. Together. That's right. Let's say that together. One, two, three. Eric Stevenson Assembly 2020. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you very much. With, with Reverend Tyron Williams. So nice to meet you. Yes, it's a privilege to be here. Thank you. I'm here to support Eric Stevenson. Oh, yes, I am also. Yeah. yeah. So, what, do, what do we have here? Tell us what you have here. We have here my CDs that I, I was the opening act for this uh, great fundraiser at bringing back revival and gospel music to the uh, local scene, the Bronx, and this is my CD, and we just want you all to support someone that wants to bring back gospel music to the city to bring hope alive. I love that. How can people uh, find you, Eric? How can people find you? How can people find you? My contact information is... Number? Whatever is easier. Are you that, on social media? I'm on social media. How would you like people to reach you? How well, you like can reach, reach me through my number, 862-899-6239. And I am in a high place at gmail.com. We're open for concerts. And God really met us here tonight as we were the opening act 
for the legendary Dorothy Norwood. Thank you. On three, let's just say, what do you think of Eric Stevenson? Run I think he. Run I think day. it's great. Yeah. I think he's sincere, and we need seasoned veterans to come back to the streets of the Bronx. And to fight. To people. fight for our people and bring equality. I love that. Mm -hmm. Let's say Eric Stevenson, Assembly 2020 together. All right. One, two, three. A Eric, Eric Stevenson, Stevenson Assembly, Assembly 2020. 2020. Praise the much. Lord. Amen. And God bless all of you in this Christmas season and know that God is with you through whatever you're going through in America. Keep God at the forefront of your life in this season. Amen. Amen. God Amen. bless you. God, God bless, bless you, you, Reverend. Thank you so much. Bless you. God bless you. Thank yeah. you very much. Very much. Thank you. So we're waiting. We want to be able to speak to Dorothy Norwood. She's signing her CDs right now. But this was such an inspiring evening. I have to tell you again, thank you, Eric Stevenson, for allowing me to come out and support you support you thank you for trusting us to come out and do what we do i was in awe i was inspired so many women of valor so many women doing amazing things in the community and not only here in general and again thank you thank you thank you for allowing us to do that Hello, my nan. How are you? I'm doing good. And you? What brings you out today? I'm great. Ah, uh, friendship, brotherhood, and progress. So friendship, brotherhood, brotherhood and progress. Brotherhood and progress. Yeah. And who do you owe, Who are you hoping all this for? Uh, actually, uh, I'm here because of Eric. Eric. Eric has been a wonderful friend to me, and uh, this is a guy that you can wake up anytime. Any help you need, he's there for you. And uh, you know, friendship leads to brotherhood Absolutely. and right now our friendship becomes brotherhood and as he told me about this I decided to come to also give him his support for those who are watching Manan where yeah. are you from? I'm from Ghana and I actually I'm from Yendi Ghana and as I'm speaking I have Facebook live listen to and the whole Yendi people are listening to what I'm talking about Yendi is a wonderful person and very soon Eric will be descending to Yendi and we're bringing a lot of important people from Yendi to this place for development. So what do you yeah. have to say to Eric? What do you have to say to Eric? Uh, what I have to say to Eric is to continue his humanity. And with that humanity, he can spread it across. And the mission that he's traveling, I think he has the mission. He has what it takes to succeed in the mission. So I wish Eric the best. And as a good friend and brother, I think this is the best, best person to go for. Thank you. Yeah. So on three, can we say believe in yourself, you and I? On oh, three, together. Um, One, two, three. Believe, believe in, yourself. in yourself. Believe in yourself. So that others can believe in you. So that others can believe in you. Thank right. you. Thank, Thank you very you much. So much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I appreciate it. I've been dying to talk to you. I love uh, your suit. Have you been dying to talk I've to me? I've been dying to you talk to you. You look pretty much alive to me. Well, I've been dying to talk to you. Well, okay. I'm well, one of the heroes for Believe in Yourself video, and I'm How here. are you? I am How great. Are you? I am Thank great. Thank you so I'm much here. for coming. Eric Stevenson brought me out here to support him and support you and enjoy all right. well, thank you know, all thank these amazing you. artists thank and just, you know, it's an inspire it was an inspiring event. I'm happy that I was able to come out. For those who are watching, tell us who you are. My name is Fred Lewis and I'm a native New Yorker, now living in Pennsylvania, who has been in politics half of my life and now promoting gospel and R&B shows. I love that. So, um, how do you feel, Eric Stevenson, running for Assembly 2020? Well, I'm excited. Uh, I think I might be his campaign manager, so I'm a little excited too. I love that. You know, so we're uh, talking to the right person. Uh, you might be. I'm you might I be. know I am. Okay. Okay. So, you know, this was such an amazing event. Dorothy Norwood. 86 oh my years God. old. God bless 86 her. years old. An icon. She Gospel is. icon. And still got it. I was in uh -huh. awe. I was yes. bored. It was such an inspiration. Listen, we need this all day, every day. Every day. And what was great is we had a number of youth in here who also enjoyed the spirit. You them. can't put a dollar figure on that. You absolutely can. For those who are watching, tell us how people can find you. 
uh, <laughs> just Are you reach out. Media? Reach out. To, yes, I am. Okay. Fred Lewis on uh, YouTube and uh, uh, Facebook? Facebook and, and, and Instagram and Twitter. Just look for me. I'm there. Fred Lewis. Can we say uh, Eric Stevenson Assembly for 2020? Can we say that together? I, yes. I will say this. What would you say? We claim it. Eric Stevenson, 2020. I love that. Can That's I say it. that with you? Can Let's we say do that. Together? So we, we claim it. Eric Stevenson, Stevenson 20. Assembly. For assembly, for 20. Assembly. I screwed it up. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Okay. We, we claim it. it. Eric, Eric Stevenson, Stevenson for, for assembly. assembly. 2020. 2020. Right. Amen. Peace and blessings. Peace. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you very much. God bless you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Again, I am going to continue. That was Eric Stevenson's campaign manager. Can you imagine? You just never know who you're going to rub shoulders with. Again, this was just a very inspiring event. I'm glad I was able to come out here. I'm glad that I came out here on faith on myself and I needed to hear a word and I think God knows why he brought me here today because I've been you know having my little battles too with my health and I'll be quite honest listen no one buys illnesses and nobody buys sickness I had a blood clot well I have a blood clot in my left leg and I've been struggling with that I'm, I'm being treated but it's been rough it hasn't been easy and I am fortunate because they found it in time. So it's just a matter of treating the problem and helping me to resolve these issues. But I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you again to this amazing congregation, to the pastor who was so welcoming, to all the parishioners, all the people here that belong to this amazing flock. Thank you for allowing me to come out here, allowing me and my team to come out here and do what we do, to bring the best of us to you, to show the best of you. To my kids, Maya and Gabriel, I'm just doing what I love. I am just giving the best of me to people, helping people shine, that's what I do. It's not about me, it's not about you, it's about making sure people show the best of themselves. Again, Eric Stevenson, thank you, thank you, thank you. And when you are in office next year, I'm going to be right where, right next to you. Remember that. Eric Stevenson, Assembly 2020. Peace and blessings. Thank you to all those who support me. And please support Eric Stevenson, because that's the man we need in office to do what he needs to do for us. Thank you again. Peace and blessings. Stay connected. You know how you can find me. There are many ways. My email, Claudette St. Rose, that's my name. Believe in Yourself video is my page. But you can find me at CVS, like the pharmacy, CVSGEA at yahoo.com. My phone number, if you don't know my phone number by now, I've said it so many times, I'm, I get tired of hearing myself. But go to my page. Peace and blessings and thank you. Until next time. I'm out.